If you are new around here, we are big fans of ClickUp. My name is Christy, I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a verified ClickUp consultant. So teaching you how to use ClickUp to the max is one of my favorite things. This being said, before I dive into the meat of this video and some tips for you in how to increase efficiency and profit in your business, I want to tell you a little story. We were on a strategy session the other day with a business owner who needed to really just tweak his ClickUp for himself, for his team to make the processes smoother and make more sense. He ended up telling us that he recently let go a project manager in his business who he was paying 30 hours a week to manage their current system. Well, by the end of our call, he said that the solutions that we found will actually increase their efficiency so much that he won't even need to hire a new project manager for this role. That what we set up will take him one to two hours a week tops because we set up ClickUp to be as efficient as possible. I know that sounds mind blowing, but literally our students we work with, our clients we work with, that is our goal, is to make the system clear, repeatable, and efficient so that ClickUp is doing the heavy lifting for you and you're not spending more time managing your system than actually doing the work. So with that, let's dive in. There are obviously so many incredible features of ClickUp that will help you increase your efficiency and profitability in your business. But I wanna give you three quick wins today in different features that will really help you increase efficiency. Okay, so number one is automations. I always say, why do something manually when you can have a robot do it first, right? Now, here's the thing. We have team members. We are so grateful for our team members and we need them in order to scale our business. But we want to make sure what they're doing is as efficient as possible and there's not a way to automate it. So for example, I want to give you two automation examples. And the first one is when it comes to content. When you think of content, right? Things are going to be passing through multiple different people from ideation until it is actually published on your channel, right? So to think about it, we brainstorm our topics with our marketing team and our copywriter. They write the copy for the week. Our designer then designs what she needs to. I will create reels if I have to do that. And then they'll go through revision phases where they may need a few edits. They then move to our assistant who will then will schedule them in later and then they are published on our account. Now that's just like one form of social media. YouTube videos obviously are even more than that because they're more robust. But what would it be like if we were trying to coordinate this manually every time it was supposed to go into someone else's hands that we had to then reassign it to that person at a due date? Not necessary. So with things like automations, you can then do simple automations like, for example, when a content is moved to ready for review, reassign the person who's responsible for reviewing and change the due date to two days after the trigger date. That way, say it was on our designer's task list for the day, she does her job, moves it to review, it's now off of her task list. Because that's the other thing is we don't want it sitting on their calendar if they have done their job and now it's in someone else's hands. We want it to only go back to her if, she's ne if she needs to do a couple edits. So you can see that automation there, or if it goes to ready to schedule, it will then reassign our assistant to, with the due date of one or two days later, to go ahead and schedule it on later. She will then go ahead and moved it to schedule. And then once that due date arrives, it'll automatically move it to published. So that is just an example of content automations. Then let's talk about team automations in the context of out of office requests. You can do something where you have, let me find our out of office request, oops, our out of office request form. This is where instead of manually coordinating back and forth with team members and them saying, hey, I would like to take off for this day, or maybe they're not an employee and you just want to know when they're out of office, you want to have a way that this is as automated and as efficient as possible. So you could do something like a form 
they put their out of office request reason, they type in their name or select their profile, put their start date and end date. Now from here, you can either have an approval process where it is then sending them an email saying it's been approved or denied, etc. And then it's coming on to the manager's task list to go ahead and review that and approve it instead of this all happening via email, Slack message, etc. It's so much more efficient. And then this also is a great way to store data in how many days has each person used of their X amount of days they're allotted per year. So you can see these two quick examples, how it will seriously boost your efficiency when it comes to team management. Okay, tip number two, let's talk about templates. I am a template girly. I'm like, why am I going to recreate the wheel every time if there's a template that already exists that someone created, AKA our click of template vault, or it's a template I've created in the past. And I've done this project 25 times and I just want to reiterate the process. Now, disclaimer, of course, sometimes your projects a lot of people's projects are going to vary client to client. There may be tweaks, but you want to have a jumping off point. So if I come to our workflow mapping template, you will see here. Okay. Say I have a project based client. I'm actually going to go here and show you how simple this is. I'm going to go ahead and click template, browse templates. I'm going to say workflow mapping template. From here, let's pretend this is a ClickUp build client. Then I'm gonna click use client and say DeSilva life ClickUp build. And then I'm gonna remap the dates. So this is where the magic happens. If you have a template that you have a standard timeline for, you can actually remap the start date and end dates of this project. Let's say this project was kicking off on October 2nd. And then I click use template. Let me go ahead and pause and let this buffer. And boom, here we are. Now I have this brand new template fresh. I'm ready for me to dive in and start onboarding this client. All the due dates for the project are now remapped. Yes, of course, I might have to tweak a few things for this client, but the power of templates is unreal. Same thing when you think of things like YouTube. Every single time we have a YouTube video, it takes probably 20 subtasks for the whole team coming together to make that YouTube video come to life. Yes, they are a lot of work, but we love doing it for you guys. So having a task template that has this standard like two week timeline of when we start filming and editing that video until it's scheduled on the channel, that is priceless. Why would we write the subtask every single time when we could just have a template that we pull up and remap? Okay, and aside from templates, which I love, the third tip for increasing efficiency and profitability is utilizing dashboards. Dashboards are such an amazing way to really just tailor information and data into one place. So let me show you through a few examples of dashboards. So here's an example of a team member dashboard where each team member can have a dashboard that filters in what's due today for them, what's overdue and what's upcoming this week. This is just going to make things more efficient. They're not going to be clicking into places, trying to manage it from their home screen or notifications. They will have one place to utilize and see what is the most important information that they have to go in and tackle that day. Now let's show you an example of sales tracking. Okay, so quick note about this. We have a whole other in-depth tutorial about this sales dashboard, Zapier, all the incredible things. But just showing you this at a glance, first of all, these two widgets are not functioning properly at this exact second. This should say a total of whatever these are. Um, but this is where if you hook this up to your sales processors, bring this data in ClickUp and then utilize dashboards to see it visually, you are going to have real-time data into your financial numbers, right? When we look at all these things together, utilizing automations, utilizing templates and dashboards, of course it's efficiency, right? So you can get your job done as efficiently as possible, but it's also going to increase your profitability because number one, you're getting that real-time data into who's doing what, how much you're making, where you can automate things, delegate things, eliminate things. 
Clarity is key here. And then you're able to make financial decisions, right? Are we making enough money to be able to delegate these roles in our business that maybe you or another employee is managing right now or contractors, subcontractor, et cetera. So I wanted to keep this video short and sweet just so you can see these quick examples of utilizing some of ClickUp's incredible features to make your life easier increase your efficiency and profitability in your business. So that is it for today's tutorial and I hope it brought light to these specific areas. If you want to sharpen your ClickUp toolbox and become a ClickUp Pro, we have an entire ClickUp course that goes through 70 plus videos from the beginning of ClickUp diving in all the way to more advanced tutorials and trainings. If you join our ClickUp course or Template Vault, you actually get access to three months free of our community membership where we're also doing live office hours, co-working hours, we have additional and bonus workshops and templates. It's one of the best places to be on the internet. So I will drop the link below if you're interested in checking out System School. And if you have any questions on if System School is the right fit for you, what exactly it includes, feel free to always email us at support at DeSilvaLife.com. But one more thing before I sign off, I cannot wait to let you know that we are hosting a free live training this month called Scaling Your Online Business with ClickUp. I'm so excited to go through all the tips on how you can really maximize ClickUp for growth and efficiency to really grow and scale your business with ease. There are two different session dates, so make sure to check out the link and choose which one works best for you. You can also check out that page to get all of the details of what will be included in the session, and I hope to see you there. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for all the ClickUp tutorials, and I'll see you next time.